that is where copy on write analyst comes into play it is thread safe also and it is going to offer a high performance now the question arises how does it make it high perform hi everyone welcome to my channel code with ease by varsha today we will talk about one of the concurrent collections called copy on write analyst so i am sure many of you might have heard and worked with analyst linked list as part of collections in java but copy on write analyst is one of the thread safe collections which has Uh, gained a lot of traction these days and it is being asked in a lot of interviews apart from being asked in interviews i think another use case for this is you know when you work with multiple threads where thread safety is a concern where you have read heavy scenarios and you want to optimize for performance for multiple reads copy on write analyst is a must know so if you want to improve your skills on threads and concurrency and want to write efficient good performant code understanding of the internal working of copy on write analyst is going to be very useful so that is what we are going to deal with today we'll talk about an overview of this the internal working read heavy scenario write heavy scenario what is the difference and we will also come up with some faqs related to these so stay tuned and let's begin okay so let's start with an overview array link list are not thread safe and concurrent modifications by multiple threads can lead to unexpected behavior so this is the premise this is the context with which we have started there is one concept which comes in called concurrent modification exception which gets thrown so i have also covered it in fail safe versus fail fast iterators video so in that what i have told about is concurrent modification exception mainly happens when suppose there is one thread which is trying to traverse or iterate over your collection one thread is doing that meanwhile another thread comes in and tries to modify what does a modify mean it can be it can try to add an element it can try to remove an element it might try to update an element these are all the modification sort of operation so one thread is not modifying it's just reading another thread is trying to modify and that is a clash it's a concurrent because it is manipulating the same collection that leads to concurrent modification exception very prevalent when there are multiple threads at play and this unexpected behavior happens in case of array list linked list i'm only talking about analyst linked list only because it is something related to copy on write analyst but it doesn't mean that concurrent modification only happens with analyst and linked list only it also happens with hash map but for now the discussion let's stick to analyst linked list because it's the list kind of thing which we are talking anyway so coming back to the point so this is one thing which happens and to get over concurrent modification only this copy on write analyst has come in so whenever there are multiple threads coming into play concurrent modification exception is bound to happen if it is unsynchronized like you do not have any external synchronization mechanism for analyst linked list hence they are not thread safe this much we understood but there have been more thread safe options before also like vector class it's a legacy class this was also thread safe then in the collections utility uh, in the collections class there are couple of utility method which is called collections dot synchronize list collections dot synchronize set if you use this this also is providing you a synchronization mechanism through which this concurrent modification exception can be avoided which means i basically want to have thread safe code and these are the measures which i can take i can use a vector class i can use collections classes this synchronized list is the static uh, method okay so far so good but then there are certain limitations vector is legacy class and it is slow and it because it logs the entire list so if you have the list the entire list will be logged for each and every operation whether it is a read operation or it is a write operation your entire list is going to be logged which is why the performance is taking a hit so it is slow it is legacy class so vector is of course not going to suit our use cases in modern application collections or synchronized list also works in a similar way it's not a legacy system it's a newly introduced static methods but comparatively from vector it is better but it also has the limitation that it will log the entire list what is the problem if we log the entire list if my thread is a read read heavy scenario is there and my threads are only bothered about reading then why would you want to log your collection read is not doing any manipulation to your underlying data structure only when you are writing doing some modification update add remove then you are modif modifying the collection so that is that is the reason why locking your entire list for every type of operation whether it's a read or write operation can take a big performance hit
So that is where copy and write error list comes into play. It is thread safe also, and it is going to offer a high performance. Now the question arises: How does it make it high perform? So we'll talk about the read versus write scenario. When we use copy on write error list, it does not use lock whenever there are read operations. It relies on a copy on write strategy. So the name which comes is copy on write. Whenever there is a write, it does a copy. What it copies will come to that. So it relies on this copy on write strategy to provide thread safety for reads. Whenever a read operation is happening. What is a read operation? An iteration is a read operation. You are accessing every element, reading the element, or you are trying to do a get. All of these are read operation. It works on the original array snapshot without any locks. This is the important line which you have to highlight whenever you are answering in an interview. Also, this is the important line. It works on the original array snapshot. Snapshot is what like a screenshot. You take a certain snapshot or that particular time, whatever the state you capture that state of your data structure. Without any lock, so there is no locks involved. Here. There is no external synchronization locking mechanism. It will read on that snapshot version. This allows multiple threads to read from the list concurrently without synchronization. High performance because no locks are there. You are reading from it. So you have taken a certain state of the data structure, you have captured it, and only on that particular data structure snapshot you are going to do your read operation. This is the story of the read operation that is happening. No locks are being used. it works on the original array array snapshot yeah what happens during write operation now? okay so now in case of write what are the write operations like we said add remove update in case of that copy and write error list does use a lock internally which ensures that only one thread can perform a write operation at a time only one thread can perform a write operation at a time so in that way it is providing that safety So now, as a result of that, what happens whenever the read is happening and the write is happening, it is not clashing because the read is not happening on the underlying data structure. Why? It is happening on that snapshot, the previous version, probably. Because when the write is happening, suppose you have five elements. We'll also come to that scenario. Suppose you have five elements. The sixth element that you are adding, that is your write operation, wala scenario. So that is happening on a different array. Your read is happening on this five elements. The array which you have, that is the snapshot you have to have taken. The write is happening on a different array. What is a different array? We will again see the cloned array or the copied array. We will come to that. So that is why there is no clash. Your read is happening. Technically, it is happening on the original array only. It seems, but actually, it is not happening on the same array. So that is the reason why read versus write. There is no clash, and that is the reason why concurrent modification exception is not literally happening. So now let's move on. copy on write error list uses a reentrant lock it when it is trying to add an element these are the steps that's happening first it will try to acquire the lock to ensure exclusive access that is how any synchronization construct work next is it is trying to create a new array which is one element larger than the original so you have five elements it will try to create an array of six elements then it will copy the elements from the original array to the new array simple copying of the Uh, elements the five elements are copied into your new array the new array is of six elements now at the end of the new array you will add that new element the sixth element is added to the copied array not to the original array it is added to the copied array then it is trying to update the reference to the new array and release the lock it acquires the lock first at the end it will release the lock so this two are fixed within that it is trying to create a new array adding that new element to the end of that copied array and pointing the reference back to it so all of this is happening when you are trying to do the write operation so that is why technically read and write are happening on completely two different underlying data structure the write operation is happening on that copied array the read operation is happening on the snapshot version so this is technical difference so this is the write operations internal working now let's now as a result of that thread safe additions are being ensured while maintaining consistent view because the readers will see an older version of the snapshot because snapshot is having five elements only the reader doesn't know that the sixth element is added sixth element is added that is taken care of the writer thread but it will eventually come so this is something called eventual consistency also the model that we know of uh, in system design so technically two different data structures Now let's talk about the scenario. 
So let's say we have created a copy on right array list with five elements. Now the size of the back array is five. Back array is the term we will use for the original array. It is five. Now there is a thread one which wants to iterate our list, the read scenario. This thread will create an iterator. Very simple so far. Now the return iterator provides a snapshot, a snapshot for the read operation to happen. Now thread one is iterating the array. Which array? The snapshot array. In the meantime, another thread, thread two, comes in. It wants to add an element. So when this thread wants to add an element, let's say if it was trying to add the element to our original array, we know concurrent modification exception could have been thrown. This is the, you know, the, like the ideal scenario when you don't use a copy on write array list. But to avoid this, what we will do, thread two will create a copy of the back array, the original array. And then it will add the new element to this copied array. Then the thread one will complete its iteration in its own pace, but it will not be able to see the newly added element. That is obvious because you are working on the older version. Then if the new thread, thread three comes in and then it wants to iterate the list, it will create the iterator. And this time when it gets the snapshot, it has six elements. Thread one saw five elements. Thread two added the sixth element. The thread three which comes in now that element when it is trying to iterate that thread will be able to see six elements and not the previous thread the thread one so this is what is happening behind the scenes of copy and write array list so all the important points on internal working has been covered now let's see some of the faqs questions so why would you choose array list copy and write array list over a regular array list or a follow or a or an array list with explicit synchronization that why not use an explicit synchronization okay the answer to this is unlike explicit uh, synchronized array which requires locking for both read and write like we said the vector class or the collections are synchronized will lock for both the operation but copy on write array list trickily will only lock for the write operation by creating a new copy so reads are entirely lock free that is the reason I will choose. So this is the answer. This is the question answer kind of a thing that I have done. Next is what is the performance trade-off? Nothing comes for free. So copy on write array list has a high memory overhead. Obviously we are copying a new array, like copying that array, we are pointing to that reference, all of that, but you need some additional memory because you're keeping a copy of that. So which is why the writes are slower, the reads are fast because it doesn't require locking, but the writes are slower. It gives you eventual consistency. It See, you're trying to avoid your uh, concurrent modification exception. You want to have thread safe code. You want to have high performance for reads. So the downside of that is you will get eventually consistent data. So this is the trade-off that you have. The next is when is copy on write array list most appropriate in a multi-threading application? Already discussed this when you need concurrent read access without worrying about concurrent modifications and writes are infrequent because if it is a write heavy system, your writes will be slower because it's making a copy every time. Your reads will be faster, it will be uniformly faster only, but your writes will be slower. So you will be using this data structure only when you need a lot of read heavy kind of a thing like read heavy system. The next question is what are the downsides or limitations? Not suitable for scenarios like we said where writes are more because memory usage is a concern and uh, there's a delay between. So if you don't, uh, if you want a system where there is a strong consistency needed like a banking system where your read and write has to happen almost instantaneously, there is no scene of waiting for the uh, records to be consistently updated when it will be done by like if that kind of sin if you need strong consistency you have to you should not use copy on write error list because there's a delay between a write and a read so that mismatch can happen the consistency mismatch if there's a concern you shouldn't use and of course if if there are writes are more so then you shouldn't use how does copy on write handle the iterator concurrency because the iterators are based on the original snapshot and they are not affected by the modifications. The, the iterator will take a snapshot and it will go and just iterate over that. It doesn't bother what has changed in the underlying data structure. 
Can I give an example where it is a good choice? So in GUI frameworks where there's a lot of threads which are trying to read the UI components, but not many are updating. It may be for that it can provide a safe read access uh, without locking while it is trying to render. Okay, because rendering is more like iterating and getting and accessing the elements. So in that case, copy and write can be a good choice. So I hope you guys have uh, uh, got enough information about this particular concurrent collection class. And uh, there's no code as such involved because this was more of a system design perspective uh, kind of a video because it's more about the decisions that you need to take based on what kind of system you're trying to design and based on that, what data structure you want to do. So from that perspective, this discussion video was short today. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. Thank you so much.